And so I think, again, so when I talk about Doc Rivers, there was a game plan mistake. Um, once you realize your guys are not making threes, the Bucks basically went to the Boston Celtics mode where they just wouldn't stop shooting them. Your advantage was on the inside. Your advantage was getting the ball into the paint. Brooke Lopez could have been you like I mean, just tonight was a night. You can use Brooke Lopez if you put his butt in the paint and dump it down to him and have him lay the ball up, get fouls, whatever. But the Bucks, they don't take advantage of mismatches. Then then you add in the lazy part. Then you add in you can't get stops. I mean, again, at least in the Adrian Griffin era, right? Like you just remember people, remember, do you remember when people used to get upset? Because the Bucks would almost lose to a team like the Wizards, and we we almost won. He's and remember, I mean, people were screaming from the mountaintops that you had to fire Agent Griffin because you almost lost to the Wizards. Well, damn it, I'd rather almost lose instead of actually. Now we've we've graduated from almost losing to actually losing to these bums. That's what we. T- that's where we're at right now in the basketball team. So, I, so again, I, you know, just there's so many problems, and then you don't even get to late in the game. You the, the the two decisions Doc Rivers made that were just absolutely inexcusable. Coaching malpractice. There was no. We I just gave you the numbers from Malik Beasley. There's no reason why AJ Green is not closing out the basketball game. Again, he, he made more def, forget for defensive purposes. He made more defensive plays than Malik Beasley all game. You like and so to take AJ to have not have AJ Green close the basketball game out. Not have him come in before Pat, and I know Pat had a decent game. He didn't come in for Pat. He didn't come in before Gallinari. I don't know if he came in before Jay Crowder. But, again, those are the type of decisions. And then you have the miscommunications. We talked about miscommunications. I blame all of those on Doc Rivers because, it, of course, he's going to miscommunicate when he don't get the reps. So I have a problem there. And then the decision when the Bucks got it to within two with six minutes to go to take Giannis out when the, the Giannis was the only thing that was cooking for the Bucks. Doc takes Giannis out, and I get it. Giannis played a lot of the second half, and at that point he would have played the entire fourth. But, damn it, you got to go get them wins. You got it. There's no Damian Lillard. If he needs to rest, Dame is supposed to be playing tomorrow, I'm assuming. If 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 that's the case, then you sit Giannis tomorrow, and Dame, you don't miss the last two games. You should be well rested. All your happy birthdays after the system. Get your ass in the lineup, and you go win one. But instead, we take Giannis out and have him sit for two minutes. And it, it, as always is the case, you have a two-point lead, momentum, 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 trying to win the game. And when he comes back in, you're down six or down eight or what, seven, whatever it is. And that absolutely killed the Bucs from a momentum standpoint. Still, again, Malik Beasley probably missed it 18 more threes after that. Um, it, again, it, it, it was bad. Again, I give Malik the, the, all the credit in the world for continuing to shoot, shoot or shoot. But, um, but again, the, 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 and it, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. I, it was an inexcusable loss, inexplicable loss. Um, and again, a lot of it falls to the hands of Doc Rivers. We, t- and, and last thing I'll say, you know, that new shine of Doc Rivers to have, st- when I, like we said, that, that when, you know, if Adrian Griffin is the sub and now Doc Rivers is coming to be the principal, now he's taking over the class, well, the class is only going to listen for so long. Right, like, like as soon as you get in there, okay, we got to hit a new teacher, new, 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 new principals in town, and now we've gotten to the end of the school year, and the kids are right back rowdy again. I really don't get the rotations of just we have these games where you don't play Gallinari, and he finally gets that DMP that we've all been looking for, and then he comes in when realistically the only guy you have out is Dame. So I don't understand why that affects the power forward spot. Uh, so it, it's it's dumb things like that that I think really just just throw this whole team in a loop and and I think that's the biggest part of, of why I was disappointed with Doc tonight. The point that I'll make about this too though because this gets me about not playing the young guys the problem is you don't want to be in a situation where you need to play the young guys and you have not played them in months right that's a situation where you're setting everybody up to failure yes it's, it's a sink or swim situation but most likely if you haven't played in three four months and we actually need you to get meaningful minutes if it's because of injury suspension available whatever reason that's a rough spot to be in and at this point it looks like we're going to go into the playoffs we would have semi-cemented rotation, right? It's probably going to change a little bit based on personnel, but none of our young guys outside of A.J. Green will have gotten meaningful minutes in a very long time, and we're not even consistently giving those minutes to A.J. Green. I just don't understand. I, 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 I This feels to me like Doc is doing things like this because this is the way he's always done it. And and that is and that's not good, right? That's a that's a major major issue because like, again, for you to say, well, I've always done it this way. Listen, man, you got to change. You got to figure it out. You got some young horses on this bench that are hungry. You got some young horses on this bench that need to be developed, right? That that want to. And if they all they got in them is five minutes a night, then yo, give them that, right? Give them that. Why are we still playing? 
I say this every show. Why do we play Gallinari? Why do we do it? Okay, you get a three tonight. Like, we'll give you, give you a golf clap. You know, we'll, cool. Appreciate that, right? But at the end of the day, like, yeah, I don't get it. I'm not really sure why Doc keeps doing this, but we got we to gotta do something. Something has to change here. And I don't know if that's horse saying something to Doc or not about not playing the young guys, but I think it's maddening to the casual observer that, like, because you just see this keep happening with him. 